Hello students, I welcome you once again to the e-learning sessions of Automobile Engineering. Myself Hardik Shah and during this lecture series, we will discuss some inter uh, interesting topics in the subject of automotive electricals and electronics. Okay. In this lecture, we will discuss about the two systems that take that is uh, axial starter motor that is sliding armature type and the coaxial starter motor that is sliding gear type. Okay. I hope you will see this video till the end to completely understand this topic and gain your skills in automobile engineering. I also request you to note down any queries during the lecture okay, and ask it in comment section. I will try to solve all the queries as soon as possible. So now let's start our today's video on the starter motor drive. So two types of motor and the drive system are actually used. Okay, first is axial and second is coaxial. Okay, let's see both of them one by one. So first is axial, that is axial starter motor. It is also called sliding armature type starter motor drive. Okay, so what is this? The main feature of this type of the starter motor are its size and robust construction. Okay, so for the engagement of the pinion to the flywheel ring gear the complete armature assembly slides actually through the motor casing. Okay. A simplified construction of this starter type is actually given here also. You can see that. Okay. So the motor is actually uh, shown here in a rest uh, position. Okay. The armature is held by a spring so that it is offset to the field poles. Okay. Now when the field is energized, the armature is pulled to the left and the pinion is a slide into the engagement with the ring gear. Okay, this will happen in this. So the electrical circuit of the starter motor, which uses three field windings, the main winding as usual of the thick section and the low resistance winding and it is connected in a series to the armature. Okay, the auxiliary winding is wound with the thinner wire so that it has a relatively high resistance and is also connected in a series with the armature but it is in parallel with the main winding okay the holding winding is also a high, high resistance winding but it is connected in parallel with the armature as well as the other two windings okay so these are all about the these three windings okay now a two stage sonar switch mounted on the starter operates the starter and it is energized by the driver's switch okay that is starter switch so when the switch is operated the first pair of contacts closes but the second pair is held open by the pole that engages in a slot in the trip lever okay once the pinion is nearly fully engaged with the ring here the pole allows the second pair of the contact to close okay so this combined figure is actually also shown here for the simplification of the working okay you can see this operation in this figure so first figure shows the first pair of the contacts is closed which energize the auxiliary winding and holding winding and armature okay now the armature rotates slowly and moves axially so that it central to the field poles okay simultaneously the pinion is slowly slide into mesh with the ring gear now when the pinion is on the verge of its full engagement the release disc on the armature strikes the pole so that the trip lever closes the second pair of the figure uh, uh, second uh, pair of the contacts and that you can show you can see in this figure okay that is the second figure so now the current passes through the main winding causing the motor to develop its full torque okay now as the cranking speed rises the current through the main and the auxiliary winding decreases due to the back emf generation okay so by the rotating the armature especially when the engine fires uh, it but does not actually start okay so now the magnetic strength in the main and the auxiliary winding is insufficient to oppose the armature return spring and hold the pinion in full engagement however this is prevented by holding winding as the current in this winding is not affected by that generated back emf okay so once the pinion has demashed and the armature has returned back the momentum of the rotating mass tends to keep the armature rotated okay now this is however resisted by the generator effect developed due to uh, interaction of the holding winding 
and the armature okay now this electrical reaction quickly brings that armature to the rest position and it will work okay so the pinion joins the armature shaft through the small multi-plate clutch you can see okay which serves me for for two functions first it slips when the torque applied to it exceeds the predetermined limiting value okay so that the starter is safeguarded from the damage if the engine backfires okay second it disengage when the engine starts and tend to drive the pinion faster than the armature so that the armature is also prevented from the damage by the engine power due to the excessive speed of the engine okay so this was about the axial or you can say sliding type okay second is coaxial that is sliding gear type okay so this starter motor is similar to axial starter motor but the uh, coaxial starter motor moves the pinion into engagement under the reduced power okay when it is fully meshed only then the full power is applied this was the main condition okay so the main difference lies in this method of the sliding the pinion into mesh with the ring gear okay instead of the whole armature assembly moving actually in this type a sonenoid uh, mounted coaxially with the shaft in the housing moves only the pinion for the engagement not whole armature okay the main details of the circuit uh, is actually here shown for the coaxial uh, type uh, drive the main uh, terminal is connected directly to the battery and the terminal marked uh, is connected to the battery through the driver starter switch okay now when the switch is operated the two stage solenoid is energized which moves the pinion into mesh and also closes the first set of contacts the second set is kept open by the trip lever okay now during this period a resistor limits a current into the main field so the armature rotates very slowly okay now just before reaching the fully matched position between the pinion and the ring gear a lever trips the second set of the contacts now this action bypasses the resistor and supplies full current to the main field so that the motor produces its maximum torque okay so this was the main working of the coaxial type starter motor drive now the action of one type of this motor is also uh, given here that is called lucas type okay so this design uses the four steel balls which lock the pinion sleeve to the shaft to avoid uh, uh, pre-engagement of the pinion during the misfiring of the engine okay so when the engine starts and operates on its own the over speeding of the motor is prevented by the centrifugal action of the set of this steel balls placed adjacent to the locking balls okay so when the preset speed is reached the centrifugal force on the balls move the locking collar outwards okay on outside or you can say outwards and allows the pinion to disengage done so a return spring positioned at the flywheel uh, flywheel end of the armature shaft helps a uh, pinion disengagement and holds the pinion clear of the flywheel during the running of the engine so it will prevent the damage in the flywheel okay in pinion also in boss sliding gear motors the main solenoid is installed at the opposite end of the motor to pinion now this solenoid holds the pinion in full engagement position until the driver releases that starter switch okay now the driver from the uh, now drive from the armature to the pinion is transmitted by the multi disc clutch in this type also and this clutch limit is uh, limits the torque to be transmitted and hence prevents over speeding of the motor by releasing a plate and slipping when the engine is started okay now some motors have a shunt field winding which limits the no load speed and other uses a brake winding that comes into action when the driver release the starter switch okay so this was all about the axial and coaxial drives in a starter motor and how it works okay so here were all about the discussion on the different types of starter drives in previous session and this session about the bendix drive pre-engaged type drives coaxial drives and axial drives okay therefore if you have any more to know or you have any specific queries uh, please let me know in comment section i will uh, surely try to respond as soon as possible okay in the next lectures uh, we will discuss about the cold starting devices in cold conditions okay which are actually used uh, that can be glow plug and chalk okay i hope you like this video stay tuned and thank you goodbye